Good morning. I'm Mike Leahy. I'm the chairman of the Restoration Society for the Cedar Island Lighthouse. Uh, we've been working on this project for a number of years, and today is a very important day for us. We're here with uh, Chesterfield Associates. They brought their crane, and we're going to lift off the lantern, which has been sitting on top of this lighthouse for 145 years. Uh, we're going to be taking the lantern to Sag Harbor. It's going to the Sag Harbor Yacht Yard, and we're going to evaluate it so that we can restore it and replace it back on top of the lighthouse. The plan for the next phase is to replace the roof and windows and, and restore the exterior of the lighthouse. The final phase of the restoration will be to rebuild the entire interior. It's my great grandfather when he was uh, the uh, lighthouse keeper here for 17 years. This is him outside of the lantern room. My great-grandfather and my great-grandmother on the light. You can see the uh, the fence around was like a snow fence like we have now. Those are great. This picture, this is a, an actual drawing somebody made it was given to us. This is a picture, this is a picture of this lighthouse being built in 1868. The old wooden and one. this is the old wooden, there's been no other pictures found to date of the, of the old lighthouse. I know, I don't know anybody. No, this camera's now, only, but, where but drawing, was that lighthouse? This way? Right over here. This way. Right over here where the, uh, where the uh, sand is, right over there. Oh, okay. They built this one, then I took down this one. But the light went over here, and in uh, 1855, they actually had a six-order Fresnel lens put in here. It was the first Fresnel lens to be put in a lighthouse on Long Island. Wow. But over here, they had a chicken coop. They had a, uh, uh, they had a boat house. They had a coal bin. That's when they were building it. 1917. Oh, 1917. This is the letter telling my great grandfather he was promoted to lighthouse keeper on this lighthouse. His first, his first position as the keeper of light. This was a copy of the letter that he received from uh, from the Staten Island. Wow. Started the whole thing. So he Staten came, Island from Coast Guard. No, Staten Island is where the lighthouse service was. Oh, lighthouse the headquarters. Service. Okay. But that was a letter authorizing him to be. And like they said, without fail, be here. They even underlined it. In other words, you get over here, you're the lighthouse keeper. Ken, I'd like to just bear out, you know, we're a little tight on our distance. If I wanted to swing this way with it, there's nothing on top of the lighthouse itself that's going to uh, hit, right? The lantern was about is about 7,000 pounds, and 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 this crane was 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 up to the task. Here I am standing in front of the lantern, and it was just just brought down from the top of the lighthouse after 145 years. So now we're getting ready to take it to Sag Harbor. This is a really exciting day. We are thank very thankful for the generous donation of time and equipment from Chesterfield Associates, from Bob Coco Construction, and from the Sag Harbor Yacht Yard. Okay, we found the four people that stole the lantern. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> There's no, well, there might be light in there now. Look at that thing, huh? And see this well? See this here? Yeah. This is the water collection, um, the water collection unit here.
Here we are. We've gotten the lantern safely to the Long Wharf in Sag Harbor. It's on the boat, and uh, our, our good friends at the Sag Harbor Yacht Yard have brought a trailer up, and we're going to lift it onto the trailer. And it's going to take its final final journey uh, to the yacht yard, and then we're going to start. We're going to get started working on it. Here we are. We're at the Sag Harbor Yacht Yard. I'm here with Richard Martin, uh, who's in charge of historical services at yeah. at the uh, Suffolk County, uh, Suffolk County, and he's been very helpful in helping us uh, get this get this done this today. So I wanted him to say a few words. Well, this is a great day to start the beginning of the restoration of the Cedar Point Lighthouse. This is many years in the making. The group contacted us in actually 2002 to start the restoration. They first put the lighthouse on the National Register, which was a great help, and then they restored the oil house, which is a small structure next to the lighthouse. But today is really the, the beginning of the, the real restoration of the lighthouse itself. So this is an exciting time to bring a piece of history here into uh, downtown Sag Harbor. It's gonna be sitting here, I guess, for a while as the restoration goes forward and everyone can see uh, what the, um, the history of the lighthouse is and get more information here. I think it'll even be a better day when we uh, when the, when the lantern leaves Sag Harbor and gets put back on top of the lighthouse. Thank you. Large cement in around it. But that was all there was nothing else. Yeah, nothing but that, else that mortar that was used, that's old lime mortar. That stuff and you stick your finger in it and pieces out. Right. I have a sample of it at home here. Sag Harbor. Yeah, you can crush it with your fingers. And a couple of weeks ago, we went out there and we had a six foot pry bar. And it wasn't lifting it, but, but it it was the steel was flexing a little bit. So that told us that it wasn't holding it. Right. Nothing holding except its own weight. Right. So all those hurricanes. And what is, is there, I didn't even look inside. Is there a small opening? There's a trap door. There's a trap door. Okay. And uh, that's it. And then at really? one point, I think there was a little stanchion, and that's where the light was, but that's all the And there's another was. door on the outside, so you can get in so from the outside. Well, actually, you can get out from the inside. That's the whole bottom That's a little. Okay. So it's just that trap door, that's it. Basically, from the interior.
Fresh? Yeah, no, no. You take steam like this long. 53 Bay Street with Chip. That's all right, you're in it. Now you're a star. In my garden. Then you can have it. This is put together with bolts. It's all Real bolts bolt. together. Now, that, that was the thing that Bob was saying, or, or, or Vinny, Vinny was Vince was saying, if they're square, that means they're sort of older than yes, a certain oh, age. Yes, absolutely. Sandblast the shit out of it. See what the historical society says. We are th very thankful for the generous donation of time and equipment from Chesterfield Associates, from Bob Coco Construction, and from the Sag Harbor Yacht Yard. <laughs>